<gasps> no, I dropped it in there. Yeah, don't drop your pieces inside. This thing is not modular. It won't come off. I'm still trying to figure out how am I gonna get the camera into here. It might be too small, man. Let me just start by saying it's about time I review nanoblocks. Look. So what's up, you guys? I'm Nano Scotty. And I'm Nano Deer. Scotty, we're way too small. I know, right? So I know most of you guys are finding my channel because I review alternative brick brands. Hey man, I'm flexible. I absolutely love Lego and I found other brands that do original stuff or I think they're original and they're a lot of fun. And then I opened an online store and there's a lot of you buying from us. Thank you so much. And there are a couple of items on there that are nanoblocks. What you're seeing right here is a nanoblock. So nanoblock actually is a Japanese brand where their pieces are so small and so tiny they're just like another level they're not even compared they should not be compared to lego bricks good thing about nano blocks size are really small that means a set like this that looks mightily impressive will fit very nicely as a display won't take up a lot of room the bad thing about it yeah the pieces are super tiny man i guess the other good thing is is you won't even know if you have a missing piece because there's so many small pieces am i missing a piece there did i do that right I'm not so sure. So why review this now? I'm gonna start with Nanoblock first because I actually found out that there are tons of alternative Nanoblock brick brands, diamond blocks. I don't even know what the official term for this is. I have no idea about the patent or, you know, like Lego bricks. Anyone can use the bricks. It's not copyright, right? But nanoblocks, I don't know. I tried to research about it. I couldn't find much information. So if you're out there and you don't understand, or if you're a nanoblock fan, let me know in the comment. So I thought I'd start off with an official nanoblock and I'll start with the biggest one I have built so far. There's another one I have built that is not nanoblock. So if you're a nanoblock fan, welcome to my channel. This is my first nanoblock review. If you really enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe and comment and let me know what you think and like or dislike. I know a lot of you are coming here to watch regular brick brands, but you know, this is small, man. I can review this really quick and let you know what I think. First of all, I have no issues building with nanoblock. I thought I would have, or my fingers would be too fat. Guess what, man? I love putting it together just as much as Lego. It's intimidating. It's a lot of pieces, but once you sort out some of the pieces and by size, it's actually a lot of fun and you got to push yourself to start it, get the momentum going. Once you do this one, you build another set, you can just keep on going. I have a lot of fun with it. So let's check this one out. So this is Nanoblocks Himeji Castle Deluxe Edition NB006. Over 2,200 pieces. It's super tiny, man. So, so small. One thing I don't like about Nanoblocks so far is they don't have a standard base plate size. They use multiple plates. So these bottom plates here can pop off really really easy if i can hold it up to show you look you see how easy that fell off this has been sitting on the shelf for so long but just so you know there if i flip it upside down multiple plates like that yeah good thing about nanoblox too is the clutch are actually pretty good they hold pretty well but there is no i don't know that word here here's a regular lego brick size and for those of you who have been buying from us or buying nano brick size or there's another brand called Loz, L-O-Z or Loz. I don't know where are they coming up with these names. So Loz has something that is a little bit smaller than Lego size, but bigger than nanoblock size. And a lot of people are confused. So I hope I can clear this confusion up. We'll start with nanoblocks first, but these are regular brick Lego size here. So you can see for comparison, they do not fit and they're a lot bigger. Lego ones are a lot bigger. So there, there you go. Can't even fit one here. Oh, you can fit on the edge there. Yeah, so there you go. I'll leave that on there so you guys can see. Now on Lego, you have like gaps, right? So everything like clutches on really nice and tight. Nano block does not. You know, it's so small. I'm gonna have to show you on the close-up camera if I can. There's space, they have space in there. So sometimes it can be confusing. Like where are you gonna put the pieces on or does it sit here? And the manual you have to look very, very closely because they're layering on top of each other. Where are you supposed to layer it? Where are you supposed to space it? But once you actually get in the momentum and you get it going, it's pretty good, man. So going back to the set, the Himeji Castle, it's a beautiful display piece. I like it. It looks really good on camera right there, yeah? 
Again, I probably have missing pieces here and there because I just really cannot tell if I'm gonna be missing a piece or not. The trees that you see are actually a very good example of what I was talking about. Like there's no click or specific place that the bricks can sit, which is a good and bad thing. One is that you'll never know what's the correct position. The good thing is you can put it anywhere you like. But when I was finished with it, I'm like, oh, this is actually really cool. I love the intricate look of it. I just don't like the base plate here. There's a little courtyard on the inside there. And you do have some gaps, like the windows and each tower. It's kind of repetitive for this particular one, just because it's one building. It's the same shape almost everywhere. I like the walls on all four sides where it has a little bit of this like orange. I, it's not really orange. It's like a beige with specks of brown around it. The wall there, that's pretty cool. They even have a staircase that goes into this place right there. And I do like the bright green kind of splashed in there. It makes the set kind of separate from the base plate itself. If it was gray, the whole thing would be really like gray, yeah? Ooh, there's a little bridge in the courtyard. That's cool. So it has depth there. So when you're looking at it like that, yeah, the, the, the height and the depth is really, really cool. I like this one. So you know what? There's not much more to say to this. I'm gonna just read you the history as I do with the architecture. So you get an idea of information, history information about Himeji Castle. Himeji, Hameji, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but yes, I am a Nanoblock fan. So here we go, let's read about the details. Look at some beauty shots, see and decide for yourself whether you like this or not. And if you do like it, I'll do more for you guys. So here we go. So the Himeji Castle, also known as the White Heron Castle, due to its elegant white appearance, and apparently there's actually a deluxe version of it that's all white and it's bigger. I didn't realize it was bigger, it's like 5,000 pieces. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get that one too. It's widely considered as Japan's most spectacular castle for its imposing size and beauty and its well-preserved complex castle ground. The castle is both a natural treasure and a world heritage site. Unlike many other Japanese castle, it was never destroyed by war, earthquake or fire and survives to this day as one of the country's 12 original castles. How come Lego doesn't have one like this? Lego, can you make one the size, Lego size please? The castle recently underwent extensive renovation over several years and was fully reopened to the public in 2015. There's actually a lot of information. I just took this information from japanguides.com. Go read about the castle. Okay, you guys, it's dimension times. Now this is a nano block. This absolutely makes no sense, but just in case you kind of want something small within your Lego or standard brick size, I might as well just show you kind of like what the size would be like. So here's a 32 by 32 base plate. I'm gonna slide this out first. Oh, don't break on me. I'll put it right here in the center, just so you guys can see. It does fit on the 32 by 32 base plate on top of it. And it actually measures up to about 25 studs on all four sides, so you guys can see. Yeah. Maybe someone has modified an handle to fit onto a Lego brick. That'd be kind of cool, like an adapter. Okay, my one by four bricks. This is kind of not making sense either. Oh, look. Oh, it's kind of like right there. It's around 15 standard one by four bricks in height. Yeah, this makes no sense whatsoever. So, you know, I don't know how else to do it. But there you go, your visual representation of two different forces being joined into one. I'm just kidding. This is just useless dimensions. All right, that's it. Back to the video. There's no figures. I mean, I guess you can take like one of these single studs out and be like, there's a mini figure walking into the castle right there. This is smaller than a micro figure. And come on, man. I have the fattest fingers in the world and I had no problem putting this together. It didn't even hurt. I was just like, okay, no, because there, it's okay. It's, it is very intimidating though when you're first doing it. You're like, oh no, I don't want to start this thing. So there you guys go. This is Nanoblock's Himeji Castle. Yeah, Nanoblock fans, where are you at? Is there a market for this thing? Or a tourist just buying it for other people to torture them with? I'm just kidding. I, I really love it. I think this is great. And like I said, I have a lot more sets that are nano and I have some modular buildings too. We'll get to that next, all right? I promise you guys. So there it is. Go buy it from Nanoblock. Go check our store for a couple. We don't have a lot, but I'll slowly start filling up the store with more Nanoblock size bricks. If you guys like it, just let me know. All right, you guys, until next time, pick me up.
I have no issues with Nano blah, blah, blah. Oh, and you know what's really good about Nano Blocks too? Man, the amount of spare pieces you get, I swear you can almost build a second castle with it. Almost. They probably have no resale value. I don't know, are these things worth something in the future? Like, if they're discontinued? Do I have to do a drop test on this? The trees are gonna fall off for sure. If I hold it here, I'm not gonna do it high, okay? Please don't make me rebuild this. Yeah, okay, good. So that's nice and solid. It's got some weight to it too, surprisingly. For 2,000 pieces, yeah, it's pretty good. It better come with a lot of spares because, man, you lose one of these pieces, they'll drop, it's gone, man. You need magnifying glass to find the stuff. So, if you guys love Nanoblock or if you're out there, I feel you, man. I actually really like Nanoblock. I just wish there was more of them, but there are more. That doesn't make no sense whatsoever. I I'm rambling. Well, Scotty, we're ready, Nano. Might as well check out this place. Come on. But it's so tiny. Where is everybody? At least I have the antlers. That's the most important. Can we even get in there? I see a staircase over there. Yo, yo, dear, check this out. You can actually kind of get in here. It's a nice little area up here. Can you even fit in the staircase over there? Um, I think so. I'm coming. I'm coming. Well, this is nice, but there's nothing here. Where's all the decorations? Man, if this set was only a little bit bigger, they can furnish it out. Anyway, nothing here, man. I can't even get in the bridge. Let's look on the other side and see if there's anything else. Well, dear, there ain't nothing here. How did Scotty use his fat fingers to fit us here? There are just some questions that cannot be answered, my friend. Like how we're going to get inside this place. Now what are we going to do? You're right, baby. We should climb to the top. Maybe we can see more stuff. Whoa, look over there. I see a lot of cool sets. Those are all nanos? Those are nano blocks from different brands. So if you guys want to see a review of those, let us know. Comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell. So you know these videos are gonna come out. All right, Scotty, let's get out of here. See y'all later. Let's go to that stadium first. Cool. I feel like kicking some balls around.